People living with disabilities trying to fit in, let alone flourish, often face barriers. In his latest Heroes Among Us, Greg McQuaid and photographer Curtis Akers show us how one nonprofit is helping Richmonders shine. Which part are you taking apart now? The fan? On the job training. Here we go. Press down. You got it. A chance for new employees to strengthen their skills. Nice. For D'Angelo Thomas. Remember this part back here? This hands-on approach lose, use a little bit of strength. Has always been out of reach. Is that too big? The 30-year-old lives with intellectual disabilities. Oh, pull that. Don't worry. There you go. As a child, he was diagnosed with autism. He's a bit uh, shy, but he, he's, he's a wonderful kid. D'Angelo's dad, John, says his son was not expected to flourish. He's always looking to help and contribute where he can. John found an outlet at SOAR 365. They have worked with D'Angelo on a number of different programs. There you go. And they work with him to find the one that actually worked for him. He is thriving. The nonprofit opens doors for people who are always on the outside looking in. Just because they have a disability doesn't mean that they don't have skills or they don't have um, what it takes to be able to work in their office. SOAR's Chris Martin says D'Angelo and others just need a chance. It warms my heart every day. You know, I don't, I don't think people, anybody, any of us realize how much potential any of us have, but especially people with disabilities. SOAR 365 is teaming up with Tech for Troops. Can you give me with this? Sure, what you need. The Henrico-based nonprofit provides refurbished computers to veterans. So we had to dig deep and do a lot more discovery on his interests. D'Angelo's job? Deconstruct donated computers a few hours a week. D'Angelo's great. He's come a long way. SOAR 365 job coach Leo Castro says in less than two months, his client is blossoming. Providing this access for D'Angelo, I think, has now set or planted a seed for him for the future. What's it worth? It's, it's all the gold in the world. Tech for Troops Executive Director Mark Casper <laughs> welcomed D'Angelo with open arms. It does the heart good. I call it soul satisfying. Mark says hiring people with disabilities enriches his company. If we're not moving forward and helping the community as a whole, then we're not moving forward, right? We're not doing what I think the right thing that we're called to do. We need sure. some help. Need some help? All right, let's do this. Coach Leo says exposure in the workplace is helping D'Angelo grow on the inside as well. That's an element that I've seen improved is his problem solving skills and ability to communicate and advocate when he needs help. Something a month ago he was struggling with. D'Angelo is hoping to apply his tools in a career in computers. You got this. He's really confident and he's, he's, he's becoming a, a better thinker as well. Um, it's, it's, I'm impressed. Seeing his son grow offers a glimmer of hope for software engineer John Thomas. It's always been a dream for myself uh, to have my son follow my footsteps. Uh, it's a dream that I, I almost let go of. It is hands-on training. You're doing a great job. To stay focused and show everybody what you can do. Helping D'Angelo Thomas soar through life. With anything, with, with training and with, with love and with compassion, it's anything's possible. October marks National Disability Employment Awareness Month. If you'd like some information about SOAR 365's Workforce Employment Program, I've linked their information to our website at WTVR.com. Of course, we'll be updating you on D'Angelo's progress.